If you're listening to this and you are a traveller, I promise you this, that our world awaits us. Not in heaven, not in another kingdom, but right here on this island. And we have to rediscover it. Our history goes for thousands of years. Our way of life was once the noble way of life. Not everybody could travel. But this system... destroying the planet isn't it I think my message is and whether people agree with it or disagree with it one I'm not anti-religion no more than I'm anti-settled although I have been accused of that too also in the past but I'm not far from it the reason I try to retain titles and keep travellers settled and other labels, particularly into labels anyway, in the domain, in the public, is not for divide and rule or conquer or anything like that. It's because I feel that we're slipping into the bliss. In other words, we're driving the planet into a state of unrepair. We've already entered that phrase. Um, and it'll just shock me and sad me to think that um, people will come out and bless their faces and the churches will all get together and they'll hymn and they'll hum and they'll look up at the heavens and God will save them, God will rescue them, God will welcome into the into his kingdom. After trashing the gaff. Are you joking me? My God. St. Peter will be pissing himself laughing at you. When you go and try to explain to him, say, look, it had nothing to do with me. I had absolutely nothing to do with it. I, I did nothing. And he'd say, absolutely, I agree with you. That's why you're not getting in. Well, for one, because you did do nothing. Two, there is no heaven. There can't be a heaven without an earth. I mean, where's hell? Is it hell on earth? Well, you know, if hell was to go with the earth... Yeah, still wouldn't matter. Everyone would be gone, dead, non-existent. There'd be nothingness. Could you ever try to imagine and think, visualise where the Earth is orbiting in space and just remove the whole planet and keep looking at it? Because that is what we're entering into. That's not an exaggeration. This stuff doesn't keep me awake at night. Um, I get on, I do various other things. I try my best. Uh, which rarely is good enough, but nevertheless, it's my best. I try not to be judgmental of people. I respect religions. I respect the, the elements of it. I understand why people link to it, connect to it, how it has gotten people over very tough times um, when there was no other supports there, including today, particularly for travellers. But Jesus and Mary and Joseph, God or the donkey, did not kill the Carrick Mines 10, including the unborn baby. God or any of them do not send our children to the graveyards where the parents are carrying the coffins. That's not a natural order. So if we suffer like Jesus, we're welcome into the kingdom of heaven. Says who? Catholic Church? Didn't Jesus also say that God's kingdom is not on earth? Didn't Jesus decline the offer from the devil when the devil offered the kingdom? Being earth, the, being the kingdom. Jesus declined. When Jesus' the apostles wanted revenge for Jesus being mocked by the Samaritans, one group of Samaritans, Jesus got angry with St. Peter. For him to think revenge was an answer. These are the emotions of human beings. God is loving, caring, affectionate, understanding, all encumbering of wisdom and knowledge. 
seems and sounds a lot like human emotions, doesn't it? God is angry, vengeful, wrath of God. Also sound like human emotions. I'm not saying people to give up to religion. I'm saying to take a new focus on religion. Is that you do not need to be on your knees at the doors, the doors of a Catholic church or indeed any other church to connect with a spiritual being. Would it be the universe? Would it be your star signs? Whatever your belief is, I have no problem with that. The problem I have is when you practice and preach your beliefs and everything we see contradicts it. Everything coming from the preachers and the teachers, the people closest to God that held the Bibles. These are the people that are abusing God's children, put 800 of his babies in the surge, of course, acts of evil are isolated. And it can happen just about anyone. But if Jesus didn't want the kingdom on earth and the only kingdom was in heaven, what are we doing with the Vatican? What are we doing with these monstrosal sized churches that rain in millions upon millions of euros? Nice cars, flash cars, nice suits, red wine, and children starving to death. That's not God's kingdom. And I'm not religious. But I'll tell you one thing. I remember when I was in my lowest, going through some of the toughest internal times of my life, because I couldn't understand things either. I don't understand things the way I, now that I used to. I have more perspective now than I used to. So I had to battle with that and deal with the uh, issues. Depression, whatever it might be. There were a lot, of, a lot of things going on. As you would find there were a lot of travellers. I remember um, I just wanted to let go. I was fed up with it. I had enough of it. I couldn't take them off. couldn't understand the world anymore. Probably couldn't understand it in the very beginning either. But I wanted to let go. I was willing to let go. I was just, that's it. I'm done. I'm dusted. Felt always I had a connection with either the universe or God, but probably delusional. But when I wanted to let go, when I was about to let go, weirdest messed up thing that ever happened to me I got interrupted in my sleep a voice that I associate were with God <laughs> um, fascinating experience all the same even if it was a dream he explained to me what I had to do now I'm a messiah and a prophet but <laughs> Well, let me just cut that uh, very short, and uh, very short. I'm not none of them either, because I forget what he said to me. Um, the only thing I remember was, was wake up. Then that was it. So I woke up. I give up drink, give up drugs, and I'm still not religious. I I I don't like the Catholic Church. Um, I don't like any church that believes that they are entitled to this, that, and the other. Why God's children are outside the gates of them premises, dying with hunger. That's not religion, my friends. That's delusion. Have religion, have faith. Take the best practices from religion. Take the best philosophy from Jesus. Use that, and I promise you, you might have a better life. And you might have a chance of saving the planet.